All right, I got a theory on why I think that the mountain people are more healthy than the coastal people. Okay, a lot of the reason could be looking at the geography, looking at the geology. Look at the geology of these mountains that surround the people. All right, there's, there's certain soils, certain sediments, certain... Um, like rocks or whatever that have uh, energy effects like they say that you can detect detect uh, um, uh, radiation off of marble no it's not marble granite granite puts out a lot of radiation or uh, the, the plane industries say that there's certain areas in the country that mess with the magnetic, their magnetic uh, compasses, so they have to factor that in. There's, there's other, other rocks that put out unique types of, of energy. So you got people who grow up in, in certain parts of the mountain because all these all these mountains have different different um, makeups to them of of uh, of rock structures metals gold silver even crystals and they they're just they're jut up straight into the air so if you live next to a mountain it's not just on the flat features Okay, you, you know, people who live on the plains are experiencing the energy, whatever's in that flat plains. But <clears throat> you have mountains to your left, mountains to your right. They're putting out energy to the side, too, and affecting you as well. It's not just all energy that's coming from the flat surface. And, you know, uh, people, a lot of people repeat that you can uh, ground yourself by uh, put digging your feet into some soil. All right, I believe I believe it. Magnetic, you know, the Earth has three percent uh, mag magnet magnet uh, power. Something that's got a, the Earth is a low grade magnet. All right, all around in general, but there's certain certain areas that have a higher magnetic resonance than others. And then you know, there's other energies. I just I think that some of these mountains might really have an effect on people. They just there's people who really look healthier in the mountains of northern Idaho and east and western Montana. That whole the whole ridge line. Some there's just some really healthy areas, but I also uh, there, there's also some that are not so healthy. There's some people that have uh, polluted the area, like in Missoula. The, the air pollution is is just awful. I, I think that the mountains trap the air, and that's the thing. The mountains influence the air flow, which is interesting. You have the Chinook Chinook winds. You have the Santa Ana winds. The Chinook winds are in Canada, the central part of Canada, Alberta or something, and it's, and then the Santa Ana winds, like I've I've heard of in in San Diego. It's just. These mountain ranges influence the winds at certain times of the year uh, that really come out, and it, it influences the the uh, the airflow there, wherever the airflow is, whatever direction it's coming. But there's there's more than just winds in that. It's it's influencing the negative charged ions and the moisture content, and, and there's there's a lot going on there. But I, I swear. People who live in drier climates, in the mountain ranges, in the healthy mountain ranges that aren't, that where the mountains don't trap the the, the air pollution like in Missoula, if a dry climate in a mo nice mountainous region um, is is healthier than than on the coast. I mean, just just look at uh, the history of the animals. Now, this is the thing that boggles me. Is I, I heard that the largest population of humans before Europeans arrived were were in the San, San, San Santa Santa Cruz area but I, I question were they in this the, the very Santa Cruz on the coast area 
because there's a nice that's where like the first uh forest the redwood forest area begins there's a big patch of redwood forest that's protected no i never went through it because it's protected and i just I, yeah i, I kind of wish i would have checked it out but it's a nice patch i think i suspect that the indians may have lived in that nice patch of redwoods uh, maybe not exactly on the coast the largest population of indians so they're kind of in a mountainous region on the coast where the climate stays stable and that's another thing too it's like <clears throat> the people who live in the mountains uh, around the northern Idaho, Idaho area and the western Montana region you just you just can't like live freely like the people did in, in Santa Cruz without having to worry about building a house or anything the the people stay healthy around the, Idaho, the northern Idaho area and the mountainous regions because they also are able to protect themselves too from the the harsh winters and of course the hot summers but I mean the the mountains are going to provide good shade if you live on uh what is it maybe the, whatever the sunny the sunset side of the mountain will give you the best shade the most the most that you know and the sun will go down you know a couple hours earlier behind the mountains so that helps for the 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 summertime but people I mean in the old days they would what go up the hills they'd live on the mountains during the, the summer in the top parts where it's snowy and then come down to the lowlands during the winter time so it's not just like one particular exact area you just stay in and live a healthy life you, you have they had to move around quite a bit of course in today's age you can't really move to the highlands for the summertime and the lowlands for the for the winter but that's that's interesting you know because people just you know they'll just say i'll just turn on the air conditioning it's fine um but i just i, I find i find it interesting and i really noticed a big difference between the highlands and lowlands if you go to clark's clarkston or lewisville and that's in the oregon area actually but the highlands is just it's such such a difference between across the river it's like a, it makes a 10 degree difference between the top of the, the mountain, the highlands area, and, and the lowlands area. And that's, that's, uh, that's common for, for the elevation and features uh, across the landscape, of course. But, you know, there's, there's just something with, with uh, people looking healthier among mountain ranges. In certain mountain range, not all mountain ranges, because there I've I'm I'm going through Salt Lake City and there's there's really not a lot of healthy healthy people around here in general uh, compared to other places. So what what else what else would make the difference? I'm just saying that there could be a factor in in the in the geology of the rocks and the energy the type of energy they put out, uh, but there's probably more to that. And that's, that's something else to talk about.